In any reinforcement detailing, there are two sizes of bars used in the slab. That is main reinforcement bars and distribution bars. If there is any load on a slab, the bottom of the slab undergoes positive moment sagging and the supports undergo negative moments hogging. The bottom part together with the top part of the slab will undergo extreme tension simultaneously. What are the main bars in a slab? The reinforcement bars that are placed in the tension zone of the slab to resist the bending moment and to transfer the superimposed loads to the supports that are provided for the slab are called main bars. Main bars are always placed at the bottom part of the slab reinforcement and distribution bars rest over the main bar as shown in the above drawing. The purpose of providing the main bar is to transfer the bending load developed at the bottom of the slab to the beams. The diameter of the main bar should not be less than 8 mm for the HYSD bar and 10 mm for plain bars. What are the distribution bars in a slab? The reinforcement bars that are placed above the main bar in a one-way slab to distribute the superimposed load to the main bar are called distribution bars. As you can observe in the drawing, distribution bars are provided in the longer span of the one-way slab and main bars are placed along the shorter span of the slab. The distribution bar helps to firmly hold the main bars in their assigned position. They also act against shrinkage stresses due to temperature variations. What are the different functions of main bars in concrete? 1. To transfer the superimposed loads to the supports. 2. To resist the bending moments. 3. To withstand shear stress in the tension zone. 4. To encounter shrinkage cracks due to temperature variation. What are the different functions of distribution bars in concrete? 1. To distribute the superimposed load to the main bar. 2. To firmly hold the main bars in their given position. 3. To form a mesh with the main bar in concrete for better bonding strength. 4. To resist shrinkage stress due to climatic variation. 5. To resist the development of cracks due to external factors. Is distribution bars provided in a two-way slab? The term distribution bar is sometimes used for the top reinforcement of all types of slabs. But in actuality, it is not correct in the case of a two-way slab as the load is transferred in both directions. So in the two-way slabs, the reinforcement provided in both directions should be called main bars. What are the differences between main bars and distribution bars in a slab? 1. Used in shorter direction. Used in longer direction of one-way slab. 2. Placed in the bottom part of the slab reinforcement. Placed over the top of the main bar. 3. Higher diameter bars are used. Lower diameter bars are used. 4. Designed to resist bending moment. Not designed to resist bending moment. 5. Transfers superimposed load to the supports, distributes superimposed load to the main bar. 6. Resists shear stress at the tension zone, resists shrinkage, stress due to climatic variation. Hope this video was useful for you. Please let us know your thoughts and suggestions using the comments form below. We will love to hear from you.